Hi. Hi, my name is Jennifer Diebold. I am the innocent one. I am one of the 144,000 light workers. I am a star seed of many different backgrounds. I have many different pathways, um, both dark and light, and I heal and merge them together as yin and yang, and they complement each other the way I do it. And um, I take the good with the bad. What I wanted to talk to you tonight was a near-death um, experience account, um, my own, and I share about myself because that way um, those who have also had it can say, yeah, that did happen to me also, and so it helps hearing somebody else talk about what happened to them as well. So um, I wanted to talk about that, and um, I know angels definitely exist because they definitely were there for me, and um, I was driving in my previous car, of course it's previous since it's a near-death experience, um, but anyways, I was driving in my car and I was daydreaming um, unconsciously and there was a car in front of me and he was stopped at a red light and before I know it, I had plowed into the back of him going 45 miles per hour. I freaked out. I saw orbs come into the car, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, and Archangel Raphael. I've always been very close to them, and so it was them at first, and then when they saw how serious it was, many more joined in, and so what happened was I hit the steering wheel with my chest, I almost flew through the window, the airbag deployed, I got pushed back into my seat again, um, as I was being pushed back into my seat, the windshield glass cracking everywhere, the glass, pieces of glass were flying everywhere, into my lap, all over my body, um, the thing I had jeans on, and, um, yeah, so the air bag totally deployed, and, um, this, the steering wheel was hitting my chest, I, I, was, the airbag and the steering wheel was hitting my chest, I was so worried. Um, I had to be pulled from the car by ambulance, um, by the ambulance, and um, there wasn't much room to get me out, but luckily they were able to get me out, and everything was in slow motion, and they were surprised, and so was I, that there was no glass cuts on me. There were no bruises on me. I walked away as if it hadn't even happened, thanks to the angels. They asked if I wanted to go to the hospital. I said I might want to just in case um, there's internal damage not knowing about it. And um, I don't know what I'd do without those angels. Um, I went the next day to go look at the car in the junkyard to see if it was salvageable and to see if there was anything that I needed to get from the car as well the glove box and, and anything else that happened to be in the vehicle. I went to see it and I am so grateful to be alive. I'm not saying that I want to die, <laughs> um, but I'm saying that I'm, I should have been dead. And I'm so glad that I'm not. And um, I was meant to stay alive. My life was spared um, because I hadn't met my purpose yet. And until you fulfill your purpose, you usually don't um, go to the other side yet. No. The veil has dropped for most of us, so it's not really the other side anymore. But um, I went to get everything out of the car. There wasn't much room to get in there to get everything out. But I um, managed to get everything out by staying persistent and determined. And, uh, of course, I needed to get another car, but it's neither here nor there. And um, another miraculous sight I also saw was, um, you might think that I'm tripping or something, but um, fooling around and stuff, but um, I seriously was, I saw the stairway to heaven, and it blows me away that I was still able to see that. I've seen a lot that others haven't seen, so no, I'm not crazy, and yes, I did actually see it. Um, I was in a vehicle in a parking lot, and um, I was waiting for the person to come out of the store, um, another soul, and 
the light broke through the clouds, parted the clouds, and the stairway to heaven came down step by step. And that was one of the most beautiful sights I'd ever seen. I read about much more things that I've seen as well. That if you're interested, you can find out more. Um, I wrote it in my book, The Journey to Enlightenment, Transcending Dark Nights of the Soul. And you can look it up on Amazon. It's in most countries under the name of Jennifer Diebold. Um, just like it's spelled on my video here. And I can be found on Facebook. I have different profiles that I don't check. The one that I am active on is the one where I have a black shirt on. And my cat Rockstar black and gray tabby is behind me. Um, in the background picture and I do oracle card readings on here if you'd like to contact me on Facebook I can do that for you I leave several meditations on here um, for you and I'm going to share things as I go as the universe inspires me to talk I will certainly send videos so um, if there's anything that you'd like to see that you haven't seen let me know I'm open to constructive criticism, suggestions, very open-minded, not very sensitive, and um, please um, subscribe, please click the like button, like, not like, the like button, and comment if you want, and I hope to, that you all have a great morning, afternoon, and evening, no matter where you're at.